At an airfield in Moses Lake, Washington, major work and big plans are in store for this Boeing 737-300. But getting it back in the air is not one of them. Today we're tearing down a Boeing 737 that had a long life flying overseas, and now it's in its next life cycle, which is to be harvested into surplus parts and sell those parts back to Boeing customers. John Brooks is with VAS Aero Services, which partners with Boeing to offer air carriers recycled airplane parts and materials. The bottom line is to use as many parts off the plane as possible to reduce what goes into landfills. The good news is those parts can go on other planes. Several years ago, Boeing began researching the recycling concept and determined its benefit is twofold. Recycling is a huge benefit for airline operators because it returns value to them directly in the forms of the materials and parts that are recycled, but it, it also completes environmental strategy for the whole industry. And the opportunity to gather or harvest recycled airplane parts has become very high. We're doing probably 20 to 50 planes per year. Air carriers are starting to park some of the older aircraft going to the, to the next gen. They get the, the better fuel efficiency. And it's not just parts that can be recycled. Airplane materials such as metals and carbon fiber also have great potential. Almost all of the airplane can be recycled. Currently we're recycling about 90% of the total aircraft materials. Uh, which means that about 10% is going into the landfill. We are working towards getting to a 95% recyclability on the aircraft. And with emerging technologies and research, recycling 100% of the airplane is not an unrealistic goal. When I think about what we do with recycling, to me it's just a natural thing to preserve resources. And I think it's in the culture uh, of Boeing to preserve resources. So recycling is a natural thing for us to do and it's the right thing to do.